This is the person that eat fucking raw fish. And I eat raw fish. Yes, you do. You're a liar. That's raw fish, sweetheart. Not all sushi is raw fish. Majority of it is, though. She's annoying. Hey, y'all. <laughs> Period. Uh -huh. Um, I'm gonna say I'm gonna pull this close up. What? This chair. What chair? Unless you want to get the same level. I guess. No. But, but we'll never get the same level. You're big ass. <laughs> Understand Spanish to a certain level. Peppermint, 
some little dots, some dots, <laughs> and something, some other decoration. What you got? Hey, mine. I got the house. Three Hershey kisses. Oh, yeah. A Hershey. <laughs> a very tiny one. And some trees and a red ball. But on the bright side. <laughs> and half a cup full of Aggies rings. On the bright side, her house is smaller, so she don't need as That's much. That's That's okay. It's a thing I never built one before, so I'm probably going to need it. <laughs> Shit. Right, right. Child ever. Child ever. Yours got the thing in the back? Yeah. Can we talk about this Tory Lane situation? Mm. Okay, we can. I don't know too much about it, but we can. Okay, we can just talk about like the ending of it mm -hmm. versus what we kind of like either felt in the beginning mm -hmm. or now that the case is done, mm -hmm. like what is what's up, like what's what. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Okay, my take on it is honestly. I don't know. I don't know who to believe, nor do I really give a fuck because it's just like that's right. It's whatever. Like y'all grown. But if you really didn't do it and this man gained all this time and whatever the case may be, I feel fucked up for that. I'm not gonna hold you. Right. But aside from that, I don't really know. When it comes to Kelsey, baby, what do you mean? If you think you know something or you're gonna speak the story, it's giving How about some she please the fifth. It's giving something in Something is in something, and I don't know. I don't know it's giving. That. She took that money off. Period. <laughs> I'm not saying I blame you, sis, but like, right. let me know. If you want to be a bad friend, just be a bad friend out loud and proud, honey. Don't don't play Miss Box Jacqueline the side. Okay, but who was the um? Girl, a girl but she just. Uh, I really believe Kelsey Shelby. I mean, sure. Shelby. I really do. I was thinking that when I when this this story came, I worked like Meg put her on to Tori, then fucked around. They were doing too much. That was the situation took them too far. They all shouldn't have been fucking around with the same people. Let's say that. They're really best friends. Big facts. Especially Meg. And I don't know if she felt like she could do that because she she's now Meg the Stallion. But if mm. my friend took me on to a nigga and I get sick and go home and I find out that they linking up, I would be mad too. That's right. But um that's probably why Kelsey took that money and said, yeah, bitch. <laughs> Are you not embarrassed? This Yeah, I'm gonna have to do something. Well, best friend, we can't post this. This is very wrong. You 
How do y'all feel about the older generation always talking down on the younger generation? Can we talk about that? Because I honestly commend the our generation. And I say that because we are, we come from, where we come from? Like, everybody comes from different walks of life. Right? But the difference between us and our elders are, we don't take bullshit, whether it's from a job or a so when it comes to certain shit like entrepreneurship and you know the way that it's kids out here making millions of dollars. Okay. They can learn something from us. And I don't think that they understand that. Yeah, I feel like when it comes to that, what they be tripping on is the way how we move with certain shit. Which is understandable because we ourselves be like, this generation is not for us. Right. This is the way how y'all bitches be acting, how niggas be acting is real crazy. Not talking about the dressing. They cannot tell us how to dress. Look how they used to dress back in the day and they tell us about us. Right. That understandable. Not understandable, I mean. Yeah, I don't like that. That's some church folks though. That's like all of them. What they tell you know, they see a girl out there with them little shorts or whatever. <laughs> no, they be doing the most. Yeah, they really the do the most. Like, okay. But I love and respect old people and some real shit. Some okay. old people told me something. A lot of wise older people taught me some real shit. Okay. Can we talk about that? Let's talk about it. Older people who don't know how to take constructive criticism and, you know, take accountability for their actions because that is a very big problem that I'm noticing in the generation prior to us. a lot of kids that was having kids, okay? A lot of parents being raised with they fucking kids and shit. You know, practically the same age as their child mentally, you know what I mean? Uh-huh. So they weren't fit to be parents. So can we talk but they but yeah, but yes they were. Uh-huh. And can we talk about the trauma that it has been for us to have to adapt and pick up the pieces of whether it's from mistakes of them not starting businesses. Even a generational wealth and things of that sort. Or, you know, just getting a head start on it. That's serious. That's big facts. But you gotta look at it too. They was also living in life. Right. But the moment you decided and you realized you were having kids, you should have definitely, definitely thought ahead like, okay, what am I doing for my kids? What am I even doing for myself? What am I really doing for my life? Y'all preach that to us on a regular basis, but we're, we're with that and honestly, y'all say, not to be disrespectful on it. Right. We still have that mindset where we want to learn too. We just got to learn for ourselves. Hopefully, we learn for the wrong time, but a lot of stuff. Yes. And I feel like that's where they get this kind of true. Because they always be like, um, I was a kid once. Yeah, but you're not acting like it. Right. You're doing me Ooh. real dirty for something not that you did. Yeah. Exactly. But you're telling me you was a kid wrong, but understand me then, baby. Are you saying that part? Fuck y'all stagnant. <laughs> that shit lies out. Right. Yeah, that shit lies A lot of us kids are having to parent our parents. And that shit can be stressful. That's right. Because if I'm supposed to be learning, and you to be, you're supposed to be teaching me. Mm-hmm. Why the fuck am I learning and you learning from me? And why, you know what I'm saying? Like, why are we both learning together? Mm-hmm. We can learn together like in a healthy way to cope with each other, that's fine. Okay. But there's no way that you You're know you're back to me and telling me this and this and that helps me. Yes. And a lot of women are just fucking food. Okay. That part, get into that. <laughs> a lot of women these days still be jumping from bed to 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 bed. And they wonder why when these kids get older, they doing what they don't. And that's why, that's why we always be like, oh, I don't want a girl. I don't want a girl. I don't want a girl. Bitch, cause you know exactly what you was. You don't want the kid. You don't wanna go through that. Why the fuck you put your pants to that? Yeah. Let's talk about it. Right. Give me something that was like the best high school movie. When, okay, so in high school, in general, I was always like a nerdy kid over in college. Like that, man, I'm broke. What are you talking about? Okay. <laughs> so, long story short, I met a, someone who basically introduced me to the fact that your attendance is taken in second block. Did you hear me? Yes. Your attendance is taken in second block. So that means- attendance for the day in school is taken in second block. Mm-hmm. And when I tell you every day, forward, me and that person is leaving after the second block. 
decorations on the line. Like, think this still gotta be a little cute, excuse me. We got a little Christmas decorations, gotta keep it festive. Festive. Then we have, I got multiple chimneys, as you can see, room three. Where's this shit, you feel me? Shout out to you, Dad, see yours. I'm smoking like the owner. <laughs> That's about it, my decorations. Right. They go to the They go to the Mm-hmm. No, I like this. Ooh! I just oh, seen them on the front. Y'all, hold on. Y'all seen the garage open, bitch? Let's talk about how it's empty. Look how the garage just open, bitch. Close it up. Close it up. Close it up. Let me close that bitch. Way up a ride. Where the car? Where the car? Vroom, vroom. Goodbye. 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 Perfume. No. No. It's good. We can't buy it. Let's try to bite this. How many ounces do I taste like perfume? Cinnamon tones. Then perfume. Let's just give it a little cardboardy. <laughs> <laughs> this is yeah. even dried out chocolate pop tart. Yeah, literally. Exactly. What she said, spot mm -hmm. around. Gingerbread people, y'all need to start investing in the look and start investing in the taste. <laughs> like she said, cardboard box, stale ass pop tarts. Don't All right, y'all. This concludes our video. My roof gone. I have the garage door gone. It's a hot mess, but we'll catch y'all in the next one. Bye. Atlanta, come on. Ben Rich, nah, it's your response for the drip up, but be